Hey guys, today I'm going to talk about kind of how toxic our community has gotten. Now, I'm not going to assign blame to a side, but it is interesting to see how people attack each other in the magic community. So this is from someone who really does not like, and he's replying to Barry Craig. Is it the Craig Barry of the moat buyout? Not positive. If you are going to act like a pertinent child online, your employers may be interested in knowing. Understand the repercussions of then gaining that knowledge. You better hope you are self-employed because once I'm done with this community, there will be a lot of job opening, a lot of jobs open. So here is somebody who is going to screenshot and try to get people fired from their jobs. This has happened before. It's fascinating the lengths that someone will go to to justify their point of view. And it's a little scary. Uh, this is a farmer who works for his brother and his brother's wife, kind of a third wheel, if you will. And he's not, he doesn't have employers outside of his brother, which, you know, you always say don't never have family in the business because it gets very personal fast. And now he's making claims that he's going to screenshot magic YouTubers, magic celebrities as he doesn't like, and then he's going to post it on the employer's website or an employer Twitter handle. And I've seen this before. Um, I remember on LinkedIn, this happens more often on LinkedIn than you would think. Uh, LinkedIn is my main social media for my personal non-MTG line. And occasionally I'll see someone screenshotting a recruiter or a applicant uh, who made, you know, let's say a racist statement. And then now everyone knows and that person can't get a job. That's kind of the community that we live in today. People may make mistakes, but those mistakes will immediately be screenshotted and then sent to employers. Uh, this is a very dangerous situation, um, especially when you have someone like this guy, Shadow, uh, the Helion 666, which is someone who I'm a farmer. The work I do on a daily basis puts me in a lot better shape than some blank blank push-ups. Given we are a produce only farm, the only cow I'd fish would be your mother. So this is obviously a delightful human being who is going to change. So here's what it is. One side is toxic, the other side is just as toxic. They only frame themselves slightly better to make themselves feel better. But you have people in our community who are looking to destroy lives. Um, there's no other way to say it. They are looking to destroy people's lives and livelihoods, which I find kind of offensive and something that I would not work. I would not want this on my worst enemy. Your job is the most important. Magic is secondary. Magic is a hobby and a hobby only. It's not something that I would get too worked over uh, but a lot of to a lot of people this is their life i mean many pros this is actually our grinders this is their livelihood and even content creators so they're fighting for something that i don't have as much skin in the game so i'm not going to say you know should they fight for it but here we have a farmer uh saying that he's going to take legal manner which is very expensive to do. I don't know if he knows lawyers cost $500 plus, depending on the lawyer. Do not think that you're acting like you're immune to consequence will be tolerated or condoned. This is exactly the type of person who, in my opinion, should not belong in magic, the holier than thou. Um, it's someone who is going to attack other people's jobs, although he works as a farmer for his brother. And it's because he doesn't have a job. It's the same thing when I said about the internship externship thing where the person attacking me didn't know why it ends every four months. It's because they've never done one before. Uh, they never had a job, but they've never had an internship. They've never had an externship. It's the same reason Jacob attacks people who live in their parents' basements is because he might be living in his parents' basements right now after graduation with an English major, right? But why attack why like people dislike it's shocking to me 
um, it is shocking to me how strange people behave online uh, when they can behave anonymously. So this guy's calling people out for being anonymous posters, and then he eventually says that he'll trace back the post. But he himself has the screen name Shadow and the Helian 666, and he's a farmer on a produce farm in his brother's middle of the backyard. Like, this is a guy who has no reputation online. Um, this is a guy without many followers, not many responses. And now he's attacking the reputation of people who may have, you know, who may be public figures. And it's easy to do this. Um, it's And we see, it's not just them attacking Jeremy. They attack Christine the same way. They attack, and this is a lesson I learned from 4chan. Some people just want to see things burn. And when I mean some people, I mean the majority of people. Um, when I was doing the Chinese counterfeit stuff, you know, I was doxxed multiple times. I was uh, harassed, obviously. And because I, I took a very hard position against counterfeiters at the time, and 4chan was all about counterfeiters, right? So, but the majority of people actually did not even play Magic. Uh, the majority of them just came to see the village burn. And that was what was happening. Um, so from that point on, uh, from that point on, you have lots of, you have this kind of attitude of it's them versus me and there's no middle ground. And I'm going to do everything I can to make sure that I destroy my opponent. Although all you have to do is talk. It's the same with Emma and Travis, right? And we'll get to Magic for Worse later this week because I do want to update you on that. Is maybe Emma feels offended um, that nine of her uh, female friends are on this hot or not list. And Emma should just tell Travis instead of calling him out, hey, can you delete this post? And then it would be deleted. Um, but that's not the way people engage anymore. People engage screenshot first, post it on public, on blast second, and then no apology accepted last. So you, you have people who do this and then they cry harassment when this happens to them, although they are the one instigating it, right? So if you if Emmer does something like that, then I'm going to do it back because why not, right? Like if this is the standard that has been set and everyone's fighting with mud, then you better hope your closet isn't that muddy because I guarantee you it is. Um, so here we have a farmer who works on his brother. So it's not like he made his own farm or is an entrepreneur or made his own store. He probably works at the produce farm because he's family. And this is a person now attacking other people's jobs that people had to fight for, people had to go to college for, people had to, um, you know, people had to work for. It wasn't a family member gave you a job. It was, no, you had to go out and hunt. You had to go out and get your job. And he's going on a super rant, uh, but there's a joke. And then now he's talking about anonymous people, although he himself is anonymous. Uh, any and all content online can be traced to a source. And it's high time we show this group of trolls the proper sun spotlight. So in the, the irony of this uh, is not lost upon me, and it might be lost upon him. But he is um, someone on Twitter who is very loud, very abrasive, and attacking people's home jobs. And he's doing so because he himself doesn't have a job that anyone can attack because he worked for his brother and not because based on merit. So, yeah, okay, you work on a farm. It's nothing. I don't have anything against a farm, but if you're a really good farmer, why don't you just like have your own farm? Like I don't know how that works, but I assume it's the same as a business, right? You work at the business for a little bit, you do a good job, and then eventually you can open a business of your own. So clearly he's not at that stage yet. I don't know how farming works. Maybe farming is different. I, I watched a documentary, and it's pretty much supposedly it's owned by like these large companies right that sell you the seed and they're the only people who can sell you the seed you can't sell it yourself but he goes and says you want to join the unemployed keep shooting your mouth off 
this is pretty abrasive and this is the um, how toxic our community has gotten where everyone is just uh, very very I mean he's threatening people's jobs over a card game that's pretty ridiculous in my opinion anyway leave me a comment if you agree or disagree bye